Hi, I'm Jules Rehrbach, the CEO and co-founder of Otoy Inc. Now, about six weeks ago, many of you might remember that we announced a very exciting partnership with Unity, where we'll be bringing all of our rendering technology, uh, including Octane Render and the Orbex Media Framework, into the free version of Unity. And the reason why we did this is that we feel that there's a huge missing gap in physically correct rendering that we're gonna fill and provide and democratize through this partnership. Uh, Octane is currently used to do absolutely high-end cinematic content that's on par with RenderMan. In fact, the opening of Westworld, for example, rendered with Octane on a Cinema 4D plugin, uh, just on a few GPUs. It's incredibly powerful to give this kind of um, tool and, and uh, content pipeline into the hands of six million developers. Uh, and we talked a lot about that inside of uh, our Unite 2016 keynote. So today I wanna dive into some of the features that we didn't cover in that presentation. Firstly, uh, there's a lot of tools that Octane is gonna bring to Unity that go outside of cinematic rendering. One of those is baking. So Octane comes with a fully featured light mapper. And in fact, you can take Orbex cinematic scenes from one of 21 plugins that Octane supports, from Maya to Max, Cinema 4D, Blender, any of those, bring them into Unity, and rather than rendering them as a cinematic uh, output asset, you can turn them into a mesh, ingest them into the Unity scene graph, and use Octane to bake light maps, light probes, all of it. And, uh, and this actually is really high quality um, on PC. In fact, some of the scenes that we showed, uh, like the keloid hospital scene, we can pretty much convert those with the Octane integration to a 10 million polygon mesh, and that can play back at 60 hertz on a high-end PC card, as long as the light probes and the Uber shader are all baked, and Octane does all of that for you automatically. Now, the future of baking um, really has to go beyond texture maps. And that's one of the reasons why we've introduced, um, experimentally up to this point, but officially next year, uh, light field baking. And light field baking is an extra step that Octane uh, will expose inside of Unity that takes any bounding volume and using a uh, pre-processing step on the cloud generates a holographic object. Uh, this object is like a texture map. It can be decoded at a thousand frames a second. And within that volume, you have perfect um, six degrees of freedom. It's amazing as a replacement for mesh-based uh, bake lighting. And more importantly, it can also encode relighting information. As you're seeing here in this video, that can be skin shaders, anything uh, complex. And these things are really the components for taking um, real-time game engine content to the next level. Uh, and Octane's gonna provide the pathway towards that. Uh, but not everything fits into the baking pipeline, as many uh, real-time game engine uh, developers know. You wanna be able to have things that are dynamic. You wanna change everything in the scene, potentially. And in order to make that happen, we're adding another piece to Octane um, for the next version, Octane 4, uh, next year, and that will be a real-time dynamic path tracer uh, that'll take uh, what Octane is able to currently do in Unity, in Editor, uh, and allow that to happen inside of game mode. And initially, it'll be targeting um, a series of high-end PC GPUs on the cloud, but with the help of partners like PowerVR, uh, develop, who's developing ray tracing, ASICs, and hardware, this will eventually work on a single uh, 120 watt GPU and even on a mobile chipset. And this really is the future of rendering. With, with path tracing, you're able to leverage unlimited number of instances, uh, and it is something that we see being fundamental to immersive computing, VR, and augmented reality in the years to come. Super exciting stuff. There's plenty more on our webpage, and uh, please visit that uh, on otoy.com and also our uh, Twitter and Facebook feeds. Lots more information, deep dives, and videos there. Thank you so much for your time. This is Jules Rehrbach, signing out.